Yes, sir. Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. He likes to get all up on everybody's grill. Let me get my stick. So these guys want to have like a stick. Back up! Gotta put them in that place, you know? Let me find my stick. Let me find so I got my stick. They want to act up, bust you in the head. Bust you. I don't really bust them in the head, but I just scare them. A lot of big ass dogs, man, you know? Thank you, sir. If you can calm down. Just staying in there. Why don't I have doors? I don't want them. Let's get the pool. Let's go, kids. Come on. Easy. Nice hook, sir. Go for me. Easy. Easy. I told you, bring these kids out, have some fun. Let's go. A lot of personalities, a lot of emotions that run through. You gotta know every individual one. You gotta check every dog. Hey, enough. Mom and dad can play hard as they want. They know their boundaries. Sometimes the kids get too overworked up and don't know their place. I gotta put them in their place because if I don't, mom and dad will check them and it's not good. It's all personality checks. It's all just checking on them to make sure they're not limping or anything. I noticed baby girl got something on her hip over there so I gotta spray her down, give her some medication and wash her off. And she's just chewing on it from something. I call it hot spot. They all look really good. Nice and thick. A lot of people like fat dogs. The fattest one I probably have right now is this guy. He's one of our youngest ones. That's Pac. He loves to eat. Everybody else is, they don't like to eat that much. You give them tons of food. They eat whenever they want to eat. And also their food is high in protein so they stay slim. They're real active dogs, agile dogs, you know? Let's compete on stuff. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of coconuts and let these guys rip some coconuts up. Play fetch with them, let them run around a little bit. I get some exercise. It's healthy for all of us.
proper leadership versus, you know, people call it being an alpha or being in charge. No, it's leadership. Hey, get over here now. Come on. Respect, you know. Easy is a word of, hey, be easy. Best believe when I say it's time to go, it's time to go. I got a little bowl of food and they smell it. Now, a lot of people can't put a bowl of food down with just two dogs and have them sit nicely and eat together. They always get in fights and stuff. These guys, again, show respect, show love. Now you also show yourself going, Hank, Hank, back up. This is my food. This is not your food. This is my food. Take it back. You know, you show ownership of what's yours and what's not theirs. This guy, as you can see, he's the big one. So he has a strong feet in spot. So he'll get in there, he'll chow, he'll chow, not let anybody else in. But you got to show him, hey, it's my bowl, not yours. Well, he likes food, so look at him sitting and waiting. Here, turn again. Easy. It's mom and daughter. So this is Coconut. That's Pumba. That's Raven. This is Pac. Behind you is Nigel smelling your butt. That's Sugar. That's Tuna Fish. That is Timon, Pote, and Luna. Uh, Twinkie is at my mom's house right now. She's getting some leash training for my little brothers. Um, sometimes we cycle the dogs out. Pote spent three months over at my mom's house on leash duty, so he's getting walked uh, in public, downtown, you know, stuff like that. Uh, him and his dad, Shuggy, we swap them out. His sister goes, she gets walked and be around the dogs. Everybody's getting different fields of work, different environmental, uh, mental enrichment. Now, those of you that are asked before, all the dogs are spayed. Um, I didn't neuter the boys besides Rambo. As you see, he has a high uh, drive. Um, it'll calm him down a lot. But uh, all the girls are spayed. No babies, no more babies. This is all our family. Um, I got more dogs. A couple friends got some dogs. Some family members got some dogs. Um, but again, it's a happy, healthy environment that I try to, you know, give these kids. They don't sit in their cages all day. I'm always in there digging something up and redoing something and putting new stuff in and taking stuff out. You know, they see me all day, every day, all the time. Uh, when I'm not here, my family's here. You know, again, this is a big dog family, but you know, I was raised with dogs my whole life. You know, so everything I know about dogs, I was taught by, you know, my family members. Also, people always ask me about their coats. Why are their coats so shiny and soft? Coconut. I'm not sure we guys live out in the world or in America, but you can find coconuts for your dogs. They love coconuts. Also, it helps their teeth. When they're chewing through, peeling off those coconut fibers, coconut is cleaning their teeth off. And then they're chewing the ball, trying to break it up. Also, getting all that plaque off their teeth, helping their teeth out. And then they're eating the coconut inside, the white stuff, the substance, the oil. You know, it's really good for them. Good for their skin, good for their coat, good for their joints, their digestive system, their muscles. Eat that coconut shucks. Ah, I said sugar, not you, Raven. Easy, mama. You know? Stuff like this makes me so happy more than anything you could ever imagine, man. People don't know I had these dogs. I had these guys in an apartment, the house arrest. Life was turned upside down. Didn't know what the next day brought, but I knew God had a plan and he got us this beautiful place. And I got to raise my kids and here we are. Shit, a year and a half later, big chilling. Uh, I want to do so much more for them. Um, I, have, I had a ton of animals at the same time, so I had to you know, put certain animals in certain temporary enclosures and environments so they can be comfortable, happy, and healthy. As well as them, man, you know, those, where they're at right now, that's not their homes, you know, their homes 
are supposed to be looking like this. Um, I'm in the process now of trying. I have, of course, a ton of space to put them anywhere I want, but I want to do it the right way. Um, I haven't met many people, or I haven't even seen many people's uh, environments where they keep their animals at, like dogs. So I don't really have much to base off of. Um, I've seen enclosures, I've seen reptile habitats and turtle habitats, tortoise habitats, where I can pick you know, different things and different people off, but not many people show their dogs and how they live and how they eat and stuff like that. You know, so it's a money thing. Those people want to breed and make money off their dogs. You know, these are my kids. They'll be old enough to die with me. Of old age. We've had some puppies pass in the past when they were super young. It's normal. You know, we have a ton of dogs. It's, you know, all dogs go to heaven, you know. A lot of people out there have had dogs for 17 years. Some people have them for seven months, you know. Some people have dogs seven days, shit. I've had puppies pass away day one. You know, I had puppies get sick and care for them for months and months and then they just die and stamp their finger and shit's heartbreaking, you know. I've got friends that had dogs for years and their dogs pass away and I got a ton of puppies. I'm like, here, take this, you know, it's, it hurts, but. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta recoup, revamp. People don't know, I'm, I'm allergic to dogs. <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs, cats, grass, and jalapeno peppers. And bunny rabbits and birds. Back up. I itch every night. I sneak. Get away from the camera. Back up. Get back off the camera. Thank you. Well, that's not bad. Remember I told you guys I'm always checking stuff and seeing what's going on. We got a little hot spot here, so I'll spray it with some medication. Give her a bath. Keep her with me for a couple days in the house. That should have held back up. This is probably her just biting it, scratching it. Healthy kids, man. Mentally happy, healthy kids. You know, you can't have this many dogs if they're not mentally happy. If they're not, you know, they're not fulfilled. They get out and they just act like lunatics, like nutcases. They bite each other, they fight each other. They wouldn't listen to you. They'd be off everywhere trying to eat shit, chase lizards. You know, I have a lot of animals just sitting around that they don't even care about. It's also constant repetition. People get frustrated with their animals, with their dogs. Constant repetition, it takes time and patience. But this guy. On my lizard. Hey, get out of there. Back off my lizard. We gotta see that and correct it immediately every time. We gotta be in every single dog's head. You gotta keep count constantly and know where everybody's at, what everybody's doing at all times. So you can teach them. Come on, kids, let's go. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's little episode. Um, I got a bunch of sand in the back and gravel. Anybody out there has any idea or any guesses of what I should do with the bottom of these dog habitats, let me know. I put in sod with basically soil and literally fresh green grass. It lasted maybe three weeks, four weeks, died. Took it out. Um, I bought bales of hay. I put hay in each one, cleaned it up, raked it out. The process is all right, but over time it just stinks. It doesn't really, I don't like it. Um, I've tried black and brown mulch. Doesn't work. It works, it works, but I don't like it. Um, now I'm going to try some sand uh, and gravel. Gravel, small white gravel pieces. Tomorrow I gotta go early in the morning and pick up a big bed, um, or even order, they're gonna ship it over here, a big pallet of just big huge bags of white pebbles. I'm going to lay everything down with sand, dump it in, see how it goes. Hopefully I like it. If not, my last resort is concrete slabs with turf on it. <laughs> we'll see. I love you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, today's episode. We got our kids ramps built. Yesterday we got the other kids ramps built. Um, all dogs are fed and watered out. Got you know, some nutrition and exercise enrichment. I love you guys. I see ya manana. Peace.